GLE cooking class. So in this video lesson, I am going to discuss with you learning outcome number two, cook meat cuts of the learning competency, prepare and cook meat. So along with this are the most essential learning competencies. First, identify the market forms and cut up meat. And second, prepare meat cuts according to the given recipe. So the contents are the following. First, the meat dishes and entrees. The four kinds of doneness in meat. The nutrient content of meat. Safe cooking temperature for various meat. Market forms of meat and meat cuts. So let us discuss first meat dishes and entree. So in the classical menu, the term entree refers to the courses after the grossest pieces. The entrees are divided into cold entree and hot entree. Cold and hot. Entrees are usually served as the main dish with suitable vegetable and salad garnishes. So the main difference between main grossest piece is that the, the entrees are cut up before being cooked. And gross, gross pieces, which are prepared in a single large piece. One good example of this is the lempo, the belly pack in pork. So they are prepared in a single large piece and then it was cut after, uh, before they are served. Another one is the lechon, pork lechon. Okay, let us discuss now the four kinds of doneness in meat. So, yung pagkakaluto, meron tinatawag tayong rare, may medium rare, may medium, at may well done. So, ano kaya yung pagkakaiba no? Apat. When we say rare, when pressed with a finger, the meat is very soft with jelly-like structure. The medium rare, when pressed in with a finger, meat feels springy and resistant. Third is the medium. When pressed with a finger, the meat feels firm and there is a definite resistance. And the last one is what we call well done. When pressed with a finger, the meat feels hard and rough. As you can see in the illustration. So makikita ninyo doon sa illustration na pinakita ko. Meron tayong blue rare, the first illustration. Blue rare, rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, and well done. So, may, makikita ninyo dun sa una, ay medyo pinkish pa or medyo hilaw pa yung karne. Yun yung rare at saka medium rare. And then, yung medium, medyo luto na medyo hilaw. And then, pag sinabi natin well done, ay talagang luto na yung karne. Wala nang dugo. As in, luto na. Ang characteristics, they are feels hard and Rough. So tayo, depende sa ating preferences, but Filipino mostly ay pinakain natin yung well done. Sa ibang bansa, mas prepare nila yung rare at saka yung medium rare. Okay, so let us discuss ne uh, the next uh, illustration. So what can you see in the illustration? The slide? Yes, you can see different kinds of vitamins, minerals, the functions, and etc. So, let us discuss now the nutrient content of meat, particularly the red meat. So, the first one is protein. So, protein, high quality protein is the major constituent of meat after water accounting for about 20% of its weight. Meat contains 7 grams of protein per ounce. Diba sa component ng meat, ang 70% ay... Yes, water and the 20% is protein. So, yung uh, protein is the major component of red meat of its weight. Particularly its weight, 20%. The meat, contain, uh, meat contains 7 grams of protein per ounce. Second is fat. The fat content can vary widely according to the grade of meat and its cut. So, mayroong bahagi ng karne o bahagi ng baboy o wow baka or kalabaw na uh, mataba at meron yung bahagi na hindi mo makikita yung taba according to the grade of meat and its cut the third one is carbohydrates the third nutrient present in meat is carbohydrates 
The meat contains very little carbo carbohydrates. So very little carbohydrates, glycogen found in the liver and muscle tissue is present when the animal is alive. But the glucose that makes up the glycogen is broken down to lactic acid up during and after slaughter. So a little portion or uh, percentage of uh, nutrient ay ang nanasa karne ay yung carbohydrates or yung tinatawag nating glycogen. So glycogen is a multi-branch polysaccharides of glucose that serves as a form of energy storage in animals, fungi, and bacteria. The polysaccharide structure represents the main storage form of glucose in the body. As you can see in the picture, so glycogen is multi-branch polysaccharide of glucose. Carbohydrates which is present uh, in animals if they are alive. But when they are slaughtered, it is broken down into lactic acid. So, lactic acid, it has a chemical equation of, it is composed of carbon, three molecules of carbon, six molecules of hydrogen, and three molecules of oxygen. So, the symbol is C3H603. Okay, another component, another nutrient component of meat are what we call vitamins. So as you can see in the picture, there are many vitamins, particularly vitamin B. So meat is an excellent source of certain B vitamins. Uh, thiamine, B1, B2, riboflavin, B6, pyridoxine, and B12, niacin, and some folate. Niacin is obtained from... Tritophan, an amino acid plentiful in meats and meat. So, these are the B vitamins. So, what are the functions of B vitamins? So, B vitamins are important for making sure the body cells are functioning properly. They help the body convert food into energy during metabolism. It creates new blood cells and maintain healthy skin cells, brain cells, and other body cells. So, yung pala yung function ng vitamin B. The B vitamins. There are 8 types of B vitamins. Each with their own function. We have the vitamin B1, thiamine, vitamin B2, riboflavin, vitamin B3, niacin, vitamin B5, pantotenic acid, vitamin B6, vitamin B7, biotin, vitamin B9, folate, and vitamin B5. 12. So, together, they are called the B-complex vitamins. Another uh, nutrient present in milk are minerals. So, meat is an excellent source of iron, zinc, copper, phosphorus, and a few trace of other minerals, as you can see in the illustration. Okay, so let us discuss now the safe cooking temperatures for various meat. Uh, yung cooking temperatures, ito yung nagsasabi kung ano yung magiging resulta o yung magiging doneness ng meat. So, sabi nga natin, we have rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, and well done. Okay. So, paano yung tamang temperatura kung ang ating lulutuin ay beef, if, if they are rare, it should be at 52 degrees Celsius and 125 degrees Fahrenheit or 152 degrees Celsius or 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Beef at its medium as is 57 degrees Celsius or 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Beef medium well will be 68 degrees Celsius or 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Beef well done is at 71 degrees Celsius and or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. The ground beef is at 74 degrees Celsius or 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Pork is at 71 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So those are the safe cooking temperatures for various meat.
Okay, generally at rare, it will be at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Medium rare at 130 degrees Fahrenheit. At medium, uh, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Medium well, 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And well done is at uh, 155 degrees Fahrenheit. So we can uh, measure the temperature or the cooking temperature for various meat by using food thermometer. Okay, let us discuss now the market forms of meat. So the first one is pag pumunta kayo sa palengke, makakakita kayo ng mga tinatawag nating fresh meat. Fresh meat are meat that is recently slaughtered, not, has not been preserved or frozen. So, doon sa mga wet market, sa palengke, sa mga talipapa, makakakita tayo doon ng mga fresh meat. So, fresh meat are meat that is recently slaughtered, has not been preserved or frozen. Okay, the second one is yung chilled meat. Yung chilled meat ay kadalasan makikita natin nasa sa mga supermarket. Meat as that is placed in chiller or is slightly cold. Yan, napalamig na. And then, the third one is cured meat. Cured meat. Meat preserved by salting, smoking, or aging. And we have processed meat. Meat preserved by chemical processes. So, ano kaya ang pagkakaiba ng cured meat at saka ng processed meat? Okay, so cured meat preserved by salting, smoking, or aging. Processed meat, meat preserved by chemical processes. Okay, saan kaya kasali yung longganisa? Longganisa, nakakain na ng longganisa? Okay, sa combination of cured and processed. Yung mga ham o yung mga meatloaf. Yan, pwede combination ng cured and processed meat just like what you see in the illustration. Magbigay pa nga kayo ng mga halimbawa ng mga processed and cured meat na kadalasan kinakain natin o kinakain ninyo pag breakfast or sa umagahan. Yan. Pwede yung mga ham, bacon, uh, bologna, uh, ground beef. Yan. Okay. Let us discuss now the meat cuts. Okay. Yung mga Hati o tipak o tilad, sabi nga sa karne sa palengke ay tilad. Paano ba tinitilad ang karne sa palengke? Okay, the meat cuts, the primary cuts of meat, particularly we're going to discuss pork, uh, veal or beef, and we have lamb. So let us discuss first beef. So beef. Eight main cuts of beef as the primal cuts. So meron tayong eight main cuts of beef. Known as the primal cut. The first one is the shock, rib, loin, round, plank, short plate, brisket, and shank. Will you please take a look at the illustration and locate the primal cuts of B? Nakita na ba ang shank, rib, loin? Round, plank, short plate, brisket, and shank. So those are the eight main cuts of beef known as the primal cut. Okay, how about the veal? So veal is a young cow or young cow. So parehas lang sila. There are eight, there are eight. Primal cuts, the shank, the ribs, the short loin, sirloin, round, plank, plate, the breast, and the four shank. Ano na yung eight? Shank, rib, loin, round, plank, short plate, brisket, and shank. Okay, lamb. Okay, lamb. Lamb is the meat from the carcass of a young sheep. Galing sa tupa. It's a lean red meat with a mild but distinctive Flavor. Uh, lamb is a very nutritious food. Lamb is a good source of protein, B, vitamins, and iron. So, as compared to beef, so mas popular na kinakain ang beef kaysa sa lamb. Also, although lamb is more 
flavorful. So, kung ang uh, beef ay may 8 primal cuts, ang lamb has only 5 primal basic or basic cuts. You have the shoulder, the breast and the foreshank, the rib or the loin, the flank and the leg. Shoulder, second, breast and foreshank. Third is the rib and the loin. Fourth is fla uh, the third is rib, the fourth is loin and flank, and the last one is legs. Ano nga yung five? First is shoulder, second breast and foreshank, third is rib, fourth is loin and flank, and fifth is the leg. So each of the primal cuts can be further divided into a variety of subprimal and market ready or ready to cook cuts. Okay, so this is the illustration. Tingnang mabuti. So another one is pork. So commonly found in the market, in the local market, are pork. Uh, pork is a culinary term for meat from a domestic pig. Baboy. So karning baboy, ang tawag natin ay pork. It is one of the most commonly consumed meat in the world. Eaten, bought, freshly cooked, and preserved. About 30% of the pork is consumed as cooked fresh meat. While the remainder is cured or smoked for bacon, ham, and sausage, and rendered to make lard. So pork, ito yung pinaka-common matatagpuan sa ating palengke. It came from the, the domestic pig. Okay, so kung ang uh, beef ay may walo, ang lamb ay may limang primal cuts, ang pork ay meron lamang apat na primal pork cuts. So, the first primal pork cut is the rear leg or the ham. The rear leg of the animal from hip to knee are often referred to as ham. It is a primal cut sold as large rows. And is available fresh or cured. It can be further broken down into fresh shank, fresh sirloin, cured bone in half ham, and cured country ham. Rear leg or aka ham. O kung kila mas kilala natin sa palengke kung tawagin ay pigi. Pabili nga po ng pigi ng baboy. This is the rear leg or the ham. The second primal cut of pork is the loin. Loin is the area between the shoulder and the rear legs are the most tender and lean part of the animal. The ribs and loin chops are cut from this region along with pork loin, roast, and tender loin roast. The pork chops often come from this area. So dry bind bone in ribs and center cut loin chops for sauteing and Grilling. So, pinakamasarap siyang bahagi, pang ihaw at pang gisa. So, the loin kasama dito yung ribs at saka yung uh, belly or pork chop. Ah, sorry. Hindi kasali ang belly. Pork chop, pork chop. Open crumb from this area. The pork chop open crumb, open crumb from this area. The loin. Okay, third. Shoulder. The third primal cut of fork is... The shoulder sa Tagalog ay kasim. Cuts from the upper portion of the shoulder are well marbled with fat which make them ideal for low and slow cooking method like braising, stewing, or barbecuing which will help break down connective tissues. This cut can be further broken down into pork shoulder and pork butt, also known as the Boston butt. Sabi ko nga ay kasim, or the upper portion of the shoulder. Tawag dito ay shoulder. Nahati sa Boston, o kilala sa tawag na uh, pork butt and pork shoulder. Okay, the last primal cut of fork is what we call the belly or side. The belly or side. It is the underside of the animal has the butt fatty as meat and is the source of bacon and spare ribs. Sa Tagalog ay yung 
balamban. So, belly, at as tawag natin ay balamban. Belly or side. The underside of the animal has the fattiest meat, any source of bacon, and spare ribs. Okay, as you can see in the illustration, you have the four primal cuts, the shoulder, the loin, the belly, and the leg. Any more questions? Any further questions? Okay, let us do these exercises. Okay, you will you may write your answer in a whole sheet of pad paper. You are going to submit that along with your activity sheets. Okay, the first illustration naming the uh, is the lamb. The second one is pork. And the last one is beef. Naming the primal cuts. You may write your answer in in a uh, clean sheet of paper. You're going to submit that along with your activity sheets. Questions about uh, cook meat cuts. Learning outcome number two. Or the different topics we discuss. Okay, let us recall. Will you name the different nutrients present in meat? The nutrient content of meat. That is one to, one to five. You have, yes, protein. You have fat. You have carbohydrates. You have vitamins. And you have minerals. How about the doneness of meat? Doneness of meat, you have where? Medium rare, medium, and well done. So, along with this, doneness of meat are the safe cooking temperature for various meat. Okay, how about the different market forms of meat? Commonly, you have the fresh meat, the chilled meat, the cured meat, and the processed meat. So, take note of the differences, the difference for each uh, market forms of meat. Take note about the difference between each market forms of meat. Okay, how about the meat cuts? If it is a beef, it has eight primal cuts known as the shank, the rib, the loin, the round, the flank, the short plate, the brisket, and the shank, if it is a lamb, it has only five uh, primal cut. You have the shoulder, the breast pork shank, the rib, the loin flank, and the leg. If it is a pork, it has four primal cuts. Yes, you have the rear leg or the ham. The second is the loin. The third is the shoulder. And the last one is the belly or side. Any more questions? Okay, let us do, let us go to your evaluation or your assignment. You may write your answer in your assessment, sorry. Evaluation or assessment, you may write your answer in a clean sheet of a paper or if you have your activity sheet with you, you may write your answer in your activity sheet. So, activity one, identify the market forms of meat as described below. The activity 1 is identification of the different market forms of meat. Number 1, meat that is recently slaughtered has not been preserved or frozen. Number 1, meat that is recently recently slaughtered has not been preserved and frozen. Number 2, meat that is placed in chiller or is slightly cold. Meat that is placed in chiller or slightly cold. Third, meat preserved by chemical process. Meat preserved by chemical process. And number four is meat preserved by salting, smoking, or aging. Okay, activity number two is true or false. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Number five, meat is an excellent source of B vitamins. Meat is an excellent source of B vitamins. 
Number six, well done meat feels hard and rough. Well done meat feels hard and rough. Number seven, heat coagulates protein. Heat coagulates protein. Number eight, dry heat cooking involves high heat with temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Dry heat cooking involves high heat with temperature of 130 degree, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Number nine, braising can be done on the stove top. Braising can be done can be done on the stove top. And number ten, sautéing involves submerging food in hot liquid fat. Sauteing involves submerging food in hot liquid fat. Okay, activity 3 for your performance task. You may use a short band paper, an Oslo paper, or uh, a pad paper, or any available uh, art materials available at home. Draw the primary meat cuts of pork and veal and label them for 10 points each. Activity 3 will be recorded under performance task. Draw the primary meat cuts of pork and veal and label them, them for 10 points for each. Pork and veal. You may use any available uh, art materials at home. Any more questions? So that is all about uh, learning outcome number two. Number two, learning outcome number two. Uh, cook meat cuts. This is Mom Odeline saying thank you for watching. Keep safe, everyone. Bye bye.